The city of Huntsville continues to refuse to reveal how much defending the city and former police officer William Darby's civil case is costing taxpayers. And now a Huntsville city councilman is also demanding to know what's really going on. Way 31 senior reporter Matt Kroschel filed an open records request for that information but hasn't received a formal response yet. Matt, the city's already paid out at least $125,000 defending the former officer in his criminal case where he was convicted by a jury of killing Jeffrey Barker. Yeah, Dan, and now the city council uh, telling me that councilman, Bill Kling, is wanting to know what other money might be being spent in this case as those civil proceedings continue. The city also named in that suit filed by the Parker family in federal court. As of August 19th, they have paid out $125,000 to Darby's criminal defense team who used that money to bring in experts to testify during this high profile case. The city council approved spending that money earlier on, but so far Huntsville's attorneys have refused to release other records for money spent defending the city, possibly even Darby, in the civil case. So late this afternoon, the city committed to releasing that information, but only after the case wraps up. But Councilman Kling wants that information now. He, too, is waiting for a response from the city attorney to his request to look at the numbers. Well, I thought there was going to be a maximum cap, and that was said that it would be a maximum cap. But whatever the dollar amounts are, again, that should be out open to the public. Uh, the public are paying the bills. We work for the public. End of story. So are you aware of the dollar amount as a council member? I have not been given the dollar amount as a council member yet. Have you asked for that dollar amount? I have. And? I have not received a response to my email from the city attorney concerning that. And that's still the case right now. Way 31 filed that open records request for the same information. And we are told the legal department is formally reviewing our request right now. Meanwhile, Darby is appealing his criminal conviction with oral arguments in front of Alabama's courts ordered for this fall. I'm told the city has not contributed to any funds for Darby's defense in that appeal. Matt Crochel, Way 31 News.